Uh, let me talk about something else which is very important, which is why should you even think of walking this path? Uh, yes, I have said that organization structures have become old, leadership styles have become old. Why should you care about it? Why is this important for you? And the reason this is important for you is, let us ask ourselves, what business are you in? Uh, you are in the business to succeed. Uh, you are in the business to differentiate. Uh, you are in the business to outperform everybody else. Okay, so we understand that. Now, how can you do that? Uh, there are two ways to do that. The first way to do that is do it the Amazon, the Google way, or the Pixar way, where innovation and what you do uh, will make you successful. And you know for every Google, every Microsoft, every Pixar, there is huge number of failures, and therefore the probability of success is a percentage. Now, whether you like that percentage or not, but that's the truth about following what to do as a core difference in competing with in the marketplace. My philosophy or my theory is for you to think about is why can't you compete not just on what, which you can, but on how you run your organization, how you run your team, how do you lead, why can't the how be the competitive differentiation uh, in the market space. And I'm a big believer that if organizations were to focus on the how, given all the complex complexities I talked about, and given this wonderful generation Y coming in, they actually could create a competitive differentiation. You actually could succeed not by innovative, not just by innovative ideas, but how you lead your teams. And that's something I want to think about because unless you internalize the need for change, I think the change will not happen. And I think there is a compelling argument that leaders, managers, or business units who start thinking about innovation, how they run the team, will succeed far in higher percentages than people who uh, think about what only.